I've had several students ask me about selecting by attributes and selecting features based on the last exercise we've done in both my seated and my online GIS 111 classes. So I thought I'd put together a short video and share it with everyone so everyone could, um, could get something from the discussion. Uh, the first thing we should talk about a little bit is why we select features in GIS at all. There's many reasons to select features in a GIS. To mention a few, um, sometimes we select features in order to export them out to make a layer just of the selected features. In this case, we're going to select Buncombe County and export it to a layer where we just have Buncombe County in it. Oftentimes, you also select features to uh, focus your analysis, and many times we select features in order to select other features. So we use a selected feature uh, as the start of a feature to select other features by. So some different reasons where we might select features. Now, the easiest way to select features is by using the Select Features tool on the Tools toolbar. This tool can only be used if you can visually see the feature that you want to select. In this case, we want to select Buncombe County and I know which of these polygons Buncombe County is, so the easiest way to select it is to activate your Select Features tool and select the county you want to select. That selects one polygon that is Buncombe County. From there, to export that feature to its own layer, we would right-click the layer in the Table of Contents, we'd go to Data, and we would export the data into the folder or geo database for the work in which we're doing. A couple things about this. Do notice that it selects, it exports the selected features by default because there is a selected feature in the layer. And you never want it to go, or almost never, to the default temp location with the default name export output. What you want to do, again, is to put this in your folder or geo database for the project and give your new data file a descriptive name so you can keep up with it later. I won't do that now. Oftentimes, we need to select features that we can't necessarily pick out visually on the map. In a case like this, what we normally do is we use a criteria and we select features based on that criteria in the attribute table. In the exercise we've most recently done, we wanted to select parcels that were over 100 acres, and then we did a separate query for parcels over 500 acres. I'll demo the selection for parcels over 100 acres now. You see the parcel layer slowly drawing an arc map. It's a very large file with uh, approximately 180,000 features, so it takes it a little while to draw. You can see on this layer, we can't tell exactly which parcels um, are over 100 acres, and it would take us a long time to go through and select them all, even if we could pick them out. So in this case, we want to select features based on a criteria, and it will allow us to select many features at one time. We'll use Select by Attributes to do this. This is the Select by Attributes dialog, and I want to clear this statement from last time it was open. And we want to select from the Parcels layer. You can select from any layer you want, and there are many different selection methods. We could create a new selection, which is what we'll do now. We could add to the current selection, remove from current selection, or select from current selection. Again, in this case, we'll just create a new selection. Now, the way this dialog works is you double click the attribute, single click the operator, and then double click the value for the attribute that will be in here. So I'm gonna scroll down and find the attribute to select by, We'll select by assessed acreage this time. Calc acreage is not as accurate as assessed acreage, and we're gonna use assessed acreage this time. So again, double click assessed acreage. Watch the structured query language statement that's being built down here. I double clicked assessed acreage. I will say greater than, and you can click get unique values, and since there's 
many unique values for acres. Every parcel probably has its own uh, size. There might be many that are 0.25 acres, but we don't necessarily want to pick a value out of here. We just want to know the ones that are over 100 acres. If you were selecting a value from in here, remember to double click in this area of the dialog box. Again, double click, single click, double click. You can type this in. You don't have to uh, double click and use the dialog. In this case, we kind of used a combination of double clicking and typing in a value as well. From there, we can verify to see if the statement is correct, and it says it is, and then we'll just click OK and have it select the features. So you can see the highlighted polygons are the parcels over 100 acres in Buncombe County. You can let's click the selection tab and see there's 599 of them and you can go to the context menu to export these remembering of course to always put them in the folder or geo database and to name it something descriptive as file management is very important.